Hello everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes, as well as the PowerPoint 2019 Cheat Sheet. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make some simple changes to a picture in a PowerPoint presentation. And here's the situation. So I have this PowerPoint presentation, and I have this slide, and there's a picture on it. Uh, the problem with the picture is it's, it has a lot of white in it, and the background of the PowerPoint presentation is white, and it, you can't really tell where the picture starts and the presentation begins and all that stuff. So what I want to do is I want to put a, an outline around it and then add a drop shadow. So first things first, if I click on this, it, a little outline will show. That will not appear when the presentation actually launches. That's just so you can see where it is and you can move, move it around and things like that. What I want to do is I want to add like a permanent outline to this and then add a drop shadow. And this is how to do it. So the first thing about the outlines is it's not easy to figure out how, exactly you know where you can do it. What the first thing you need to do is to click on it. And by the way, this is same in Mac OS or in Windows. The functionality and the tricks you can do are 99% the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, click on it once with the left mouse, and then I am going to right click over it. You will see a whole bunch of different options there. One of them should say something like format picture in either Mac OS or in Windows. Click that, and then this little format picture thing will show up. Uh, it's not really clear what these icons might mean, like a paint bucket or a, you know, a hexagram or something like that. What you want to do is click on the paint bucket, and then one of the options is line. And then there's two options here, solid line and gradient line. I think gradient means it might be kind of faded in. We're not going to deal with that. We're just going to do solid line. And then there's some options here. So width is 0.75 point. That's really thin. I'm going to jack that up to two points. The color here, it looks like this uh, beige color or orange color. I'm going to change that just to black. Okay. So then when I go back here, you can see here is the black border. Okay. That looks all right. Maybe it's a little bit thick and I can change that later on. I wanted to show you one other way to do this, which is a little bit easier. So let's get rid of that. Okay. Nope. Okay. Here, here's the image again. I just undid everything. There's no border. I want to add the border again. If you go to the... Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, on the home ribbon or the home tab, there's something called quick styles. You'll see that there's some things you can do. You can just like click one of these ones up here. And you can see it just automatically added a quick border right there. So that's a really quick way to do it. And actually, let's just keep that there. The other thing I wanted to do, let's get rid of this. The other thing I wanted to do is add a, like a shadow. So one thing you'll need to do is you'll have to go to a tab that's not normally visible. So right now there are these uh, uh, these eight different tabs here. I want one that's called picture format. It's not visible because you need to click on the picture in order for it to, to appear. So here it is right here. It's a contextual tab. Click on that. And right away at the top, this is in the Mac OS version of it, um, there are these preset drop shadows. So I can just click on one of them right now. Check that out. Doesn't that look cool? Okay. Uh, the other way to do it is to go to picture format, click on picture effects, select shadow, and then just use one of the presets again. I'm just going to use the same one or a similar one. So you can see there's a little drop shadow below there. So that's an easy way to add an outline uh, to a picture and add a little bit of a shadow using uh, some tools that are available in PowerPoint 2019. For more tips on how to get the most out of PowerPoint, Check out the book PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes by author Angela Rose, available from, at, from in30minutes.com. And you can also get the PowerPoint 2019 cheat sheet in either digital format or printed format from in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.